So in these verses, Krishna is talking about mind. And he says, uh, until you conquer your own mind, it will be your worst enemy. And once you have conquered your own mind, it will become your biggest friend. And one should not let oneself degrade by one's own mind. And one should lift one's own mind with the effort. Right? Beautiful teaching. Uh, so what he's saying is, one's own mind is one's worst enemy unless we have conquered it. And once you have conquered it, then it becomes your dearest friend. Right? One's own mind is one's worst enemy. So if you observe inside yourself, you will see there's a part inside ourselves which is acting against our favor. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. There is a system inside ourselves which is not acting in our favor at all, right? For example, let's say uh, I decided that, you know, uh, this is a new year is coming. So I decided the new year is resolution that I want to be living healthy. So I want to go to gym every day, right? Let's say I made, a, made that decision. Now what happens, right? That when I go to the gym, maybe first few days are different, but after a couple of days, uh, then when I'm going to the gym, my mind will start telling me that I have better things to do. I have more important things to do, right? <laughs> I have to take care of my work. I have to take care of my, you know, relationships and all that. So I don't have time for gym. I am, this is not a right time. I will do it later, right? This is the kind of mind that Krishna is talking about here, right? A mind that is acting against an our favor, right? And um, it's interesting what happens. Let's play out this scenario so we know like uh, where it takes us, how it degrades us, right? So let's say I follow that voice. I was going to the gym and that uh, voice tells me like, no, 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 I have more stuff, more important things to do and this and that. And let's say I didn't go to the gym. If you observe, if you have the mindfulness, you will see when you go back home, you're not going to do any of those important things anyway, right? <laughs> important things like work and all that. What you will be doing is, uh, maybe you will be, you know, watching a TV or something like that. And then the same mind which was telling you before that, uh, you know, I have more important things to do and this and that will start to rag on you. It will start telling you like, you know, <laughs> what kind of person I am, right? I am not even able to... You know, I know like health is important to me and I'm not able to even do that and all these kind of stuff, right? So you see how it degrades us. It tells us, first of all, like, uh, you know, uh, I, I need something else to do. And when you follow that voice, it will start degrading you. It will start, you know, lowering your self-esteem. It will start, you know, uh, telling you more like, I cannot do this and this and that, right? So that part itself, this aspect of ourself, is a destructive in the nature. If you follow that, it will continually, you know, spiral you down into negativity to the point where you feel depressed, you feel anxious all the time, you feel even suicidal, right? These things, these depression, anxiety and all these things, they are not happening because of the external circumstances, right? Because things are very hard or something like that. It is happening because we are listening to this aspect of our mind which has which is acting against our own interest, right? The more we listen, the lower we get, right? So this is the part Krishna is talking about. This part inside ourselves, which is, uh, you know, which which is telling us about, you know, path of the least resistance, what other people are saying, what other people care about, you know, how other people think about us, acceptance, these kind of things. It is, you know, it is... Uh, driven by these kind of motives, right? And the more you follow, the lower you get, right? So Krishna is telling one should lift oneself, you know, instead of following that trail of doom, <laughs> one should lift oneself, uh, one's own mind with the effort, right? And unless you do that, it will be your worst enemy. Unless you work through that aspect of yourself, uh, there is that part, there is this system which is going to continuously work against your favor, right? So how can one lift oneself or how can one lift one own mind, right? There can be several ways. So let's continue our example. Let's say I decided that I want to do a, go to the gym because that's good for my health, right? So I, first few days are maybe different, but then uh, that, you know, that aspect of myself is start saying that, okay, I have something more important to do. Now, I need at this point, the worst action I can take is actually listen to it and follow that uh, trail, right? That's no, no. That's... Uh, you know, that's like putting more energy or more fire into the fire kind of situation, right? So let's rule out that particular 
line of action. So what else I can do? I can use affirmation. You know, <laughs> I can, uh, uh, if I have enough mindfulness, uh, I can change. I can start saying something else. I can, you know, work through that aspect. I can uh, use different dialogues and I can work through that aspect and I can finish my, you know, uh, exercise or whatever task I have chosen and I can work that way. Right. It is possible, but generally the mind is very strong. The more you fight with it, the more stronger it gets. Right. So it's going to be very much a struggle to do something like that. Right. But I think it can be done. People are using it. These kind of affirmation, there are different tricks that you can follow. Right. Something like how to make your mind, how to trick your mind to do hard things and things like this. There's a significant literature on how to do that kind of stuff. Right. I don't know if that works or not. But it's going to be hard. Fighting with your own mind is kind of, you know, uh, you're putting more fire into it. So that, But that is one line of action that we can take. And that is much higher than the one that we have, you know, if we just follow what it is saying, you know. Okay. Then another line of action is uh, we can stop listening to it. You know, we can just let it speak. You know, I am doing a, I am in the, into the exercise and uh, it is saying that I have more important stuff to do or I need to take care of this and that, whatever. And we can just continue exercising, you know, we can just ignore it, right? Now, that is not going to be so easy uh, because we have such a strong addiction to the mind and it can become very uh, terminus inside ourselves, right? It can become very... Uh, is strong but we can do that right we can learn to just not listen to it it can say whatever it wants <laughs> you know but we have decided to exercise so we continue deciding to exercise all it can do is basically we we get somewhat lower quality output that's all we can it can do right it can distract distract you only to that level where you're getting a lower quality output but but you can still you know continue doing whatever you are doing if you are wise enough if you have seen where it takes you you can learn to, you know, stop listening to it and you can just continue doing whatever you're doing.